Hello and welcome back to Rise of the Dark Spark. When we left off, we finished the Cybertron part and we defeated Megatron. Sir, we're nearing the coordinates. Prepare to disembark. Yes, sir. A long chain of improbabilities placed the Dark Spark into my possession. When the universe presents you with an opportunity, you must never fail to capitalize on it. A sentiment I share with the humans. I'm confused. Why does it look different on lockdown than it did on um Megatron? Here, Bumblebee. Optimus. The honorless bounty hunter has arrived. Lockdown. I don't know if humans notice this. Accurate. Can you conjecture as to I'm just saying, it seems like Earth is completely uninhabited right now. He's headed towards the structure identified on the long range scans. Bumblebee thinks it's a military facility. Investigate, but be cautious. We need to know what he is after. Not yet, Bumblebee. Oh no, that's a sniper beam. They will come to our aid when needed. Hmm, I wonder who he's talking about. Snipers, we can flank them through the cover on the left. Oh, there's some here as well. Oh, damn it. Let's see, how am I going to do this? I'll try walking on this beam. Oh, I'm an acrobat! You know, I'm not sure if that's how I was supposed to do it, but that's how I've done it. You know, I now to kill that sniper. Well, he's dead. Use that sniper rifle to cover my approach. I think I chopped that guy's head off and he fell down. It's more brutal than what happened to Darth Maul. Damn it. I was hoping the other one wouldn't hear. I don't see him, but I see his line. There's definitely something there. Oh, damn it, he's got camo. How did he get down there so quick? Oops, it's loading. Alright, stay still so I can kill you. It's good thing they can't notice me over their own... Can't hear me over their own gunshots. Right, let's see if I can get the other one from here. Ah, oh, damn, he saw me. Don't know how. Kind of an issue with this game is how the tr is how when you transform you're very slow. I mean you're just as fast running at, in robot form than you are driving in vehicle form. Ah oh, damn these they've got up there now. How did I miss? Okay, that time he moved, so that explains how I missed, but... Seriously, it keeps saying it's red. Damn it, stop moving! Oh, I'm just gonna shoot someone else. There we go, finally. Gotta admit, this is a pretty awesome sniper. 
I wonder how the Transformers look down the scope, though. Have you reached the facility? I understand. Heavy defenses indicate your mission is even more vital than we originally thought. Keep pressing forward. Alright, let's see. What should I go for? You know, I'll use the Corruptor. Got to see Megatron corrupt people. Now I want to see what it's like. I know what it feels like to turn them against their friends. Alright, none there. I'm looking for one of those flyers, though. Hold on a minute. There he is. Alright, you know what? Screw this. There. Now he works for me. And he's also got a cool green outline. Alright. See what the rest of them are. Gotta be more than one. Got another one. I hear one. Where are they? Damn it. Oh, perfect. Oh, here one. There he is. Damn it. Takes too long for it to charge up. Oh, there's a lot of snipers. Ah, oh, damn it. Doing so well. Then I had to get killed by the others. I'm kind of curious actually how many there were though. Oh, I'm back here now. Damn it. That was easy. Now let's see. There he is. Kind of difficult with those small heads to get a headshot. Whee! If I hide up here, I should be able to get a few without getting hit by the rest. Just need to find where they are. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, damn, they can still target me in here? Damn it! Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna try using the ultimate form now. Oh, damn, that was a good rapid fire weapon. This is kind of weird driving sideways. No. Oh. He should give me some cover, or at the very least, get attacked. Yes, this is the way to kill a sniper. to go across here and... Oh, damn it. I hit jump. I'm not quite sure why I didn't jump. Still not dead, so that's something. Oh, now I get back up. I hope I don't have to go all the way back to where I split up with uh, Drift. Alright, there's nothing through the waterfall. Alright, oh, looks like I can just climb up through the grapple hook. Oh, it's Drift. That time he caught up.
got to say, this is a pretty awesome rapid-fire weapon. I have no idea what I'm shooting, but... I know it's doing quite a bit of damage to him. I think Bumblebee just happened to have this grapple hook on him. Then again, maybe he has it in the film. I'm not sure. I haven't seen the latest one. I can't believe that guy didn't notice that like, two of his friends just got shot. Yes! Best time to hit them. What do you think I'm doing? I've been shooting a lot more enemies than you have, Drift. What have you been doing? Cowering behind cover and telling me to what to do. Okay, this time I'm going to jump using robot form. See, there's something here first. Nope, can't grapple up there. Damn, how many of these snipers are there? This is the problem with nearly every villain's army in every game. The fact that it's quantity over quality. They've got billions of soldiers and yet the soldiers can't seem to take on one character. I mean granted in some games it kind of makes sense, like you know when the character's got superpowers or something, but... I mean come on, Bumblebee doesn't have superpowers. He's a skilled combatant, sure, but... A huge army ought to be able to take him on. Oh, we're loading. Ah, I love seeing heads explode. Ah, oh, if this sniper was silenced, I could do so much more damage. I'd probably be able to get half of these guys before they even know I'm there. I don't know if I got the sniper if he cloaked. Nope, he cloaked. Got him. Come on, pop your head out. Oh no, 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 not a shotgunner. Ooh, I hate shotgunners. They are the worst kind of enemy for me to face. Alright, this is a good vantage point. Let's see. I don't see any enemies. Oh, there's one. Must be an area I have overlooked. Aha. Uh -huh. There's one. Damn it. Stop moving. Okay, great, I'm getting shot now. At first I'll get this one. And now while he's fighting his friends, I can go back to killing these two. I mean, more than it's, I got a grunt, so I'm not expecting him to kill anyone, but... He'll be a distraction. Distractions are always a good thing. Ooh, tore his leg off. Cover me from up there. Okay, good, we're done. Now, why am I covering you? Hold on, why did I put away my sniper? I should really have my sniper out if you're sneaking around. Oh, don't walk forward. Don't walk forward, just shoot him or throw something at him. 
Oh, come on, we all saw that coming. If you had just shot him, we would have won already. Actually, Bumblebee, if you use your sniper, you could have done something too. And also, maybe if Drift had actually looked around the corner before he ran in there. Actually, no, he didn't run in there. If he just run in and stabbed him, he probably would have got him too. Alright, I better go save Drift. I'm being held. No talking. Shut him up. My pleasure. Can I upgrade my gun? Again, cliche radio thing. Where the person shut up right before they can say the important stuff. You know, I might be mistaken, but I think Heimann Studios weren't, weren't chosen to make this game. And if that's and if I'm correct, then I think that was a big mistake. I think Heimann Studios did a really good job with Wolf Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. And I just feel that this game it lost a lot of, lot of what it had. I mean, there's no multiplayer whatsoever apart from Escalation. The escalation mode, while decent, it, it's not as fun as the Wolf Side from one. I think the escalations got steadily worse in, worse in this series. The first one was the best by far. The second one was all right, but the fact how they changed it so you could only have one of four characters for each map, and the fact how all of the ability groups were the same every time. And this one, the character. With all the uh, personalization, the characters are just appearance. I think it worked a lot better when each character was known for having a specific ability and weapon to start off with. So, you know, you really ha had to choose your characters, and when you were friends, you should really have, you know, s made the characters sync up well. This is pretty entertaining to watch. Funny enough, they'll both destroy each other at the same time. Ow. Alright, hopefully it won't take a lot to kill him. Hmm. Can't get a headshot on him, though. Alright, I'll just use the alternative call. No, it's like talking to R2-D2. Alright, well, we are going to end the episode around here. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the series, then please continue to watch, and like, favorite, or subscribe. Goodbye.